Okie dokie. Hello everyone. So this is another uh, Gwater development devlog or whatever you want to call it. Um, today I will be explaining the awesome new rendering engine that I'm using. Not really engine, but a rendering improvement. So I rewrote the renderer entirely and we're using basically a completely new code structure than before. Um, and the frame rate has it's an insane uh, amount and I'm gonna reveal that insane amount later like how how much it improved so I'm gonna spawn both of these barrels whatever you want to call it garbage bins I don't know, with some water so I'm just gonna keep filling this one up so this is about 7,000 ish and this one is 7,700 ish so alright so this one literally is less particles than that one over there and if we look at this one, and we got to make sure that this one's out of the way, we get, if you look at down here, we're getting about, I'd say like 90, 80 to 90 ish. Um, at the very best, like 100. So, but if we look over here, we get like 150, 160 ish. So, definitely a massive increase in frame rate uh, with both of these this system so this is gwater 2 this is gwater 1 uh, ignore the texture it is just debug so it's just a good visualization of the particles it won't be the final result um, so in my measurements I have there is literally a 610 percent increase in frame rate with using this rendering system as opposed to this one so that's a pretty substantial amount of like increase in frame rate and I can even demonstrate that here so let me just remove that and we can like spawn particles and they just can just keep spawning them and they just they just keep going and my frame rate is still fine like I'm still rendering 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 almost 100,000, 100,000 yeah so pretty sad that's pretty satisfying if I'm gonna be honest so we're still running at about 43, 44 frames a second um, I guess 42 technically and you know that's way better than G water one I mean if we spawn we spawn like let me remove that water if we spawn like 75,000 particles G water one that gets laggy real quick that's like 12 frames a second so yeah um, after after the whole ordeal there is a 610 percent increase in frame rate I'm thinking I can probably get it to about like 800 to 900 ish. I just got to edit some code a little bit and then it'll really be up there. Uh, the frame rate will just be astronomical. There is definitely a difference um, in frame rate. So the downside of using this new system, so that's the upside, is the amazing frame rate. Um, and overall, it just feels way better. Um, just playing around with it. It's like, wow, that's a lot more particle. Like, you couldn't spawn 20,000 particles with G-Water 1 over like 60 frames a second. So, unless you're like a really good computer. But, um, oh, another upside is this uses the source internal functions, which basically means like the better your hardware is, the better the frame rate's going to be. Uh, as opposed to G-Water 1, where it was like the better your hardware, the slightly better your frame rate was. So this is this now it's like a big improvement. So if you've got like a 3090 or whatever, you're going to be running top notch frame rate um, with this installed. I have a 970, so the frame rate's not a lot great. Anyways, downsides of the system. So it only runs on 32-bit version of GMod. That might not mean much to a lot of you, but there are different branches of GMod, and 64-bit generally runs better. Um, but unfortunately. I wasn't like able to get one of the modules for 64-bit compiled. Like it just wouldn't, um, just wouldn't compile. I think that's related to 64-bit not being entirely open source. So uh, there will be no 64-bit support, unfortunately, for this rendering system. Um, of course, you can always go back to the old rendering system, which pretty much looks the exact same as this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, so another thing is that the this new rendering system, um, since it uses it still uses like a sprite based technique, um, the visuals from Gwater one to this probably won't be all that much different. 
Uh, I did say that I wanted to do some kind of like smoothing or um, ellipsoid splatting or something, but it's it's just like source is just so limited in its material system. It's just not op it's, it's just not like it's not great. I don't have access to a lot of the shaders and stuff um, that exists. So there is that EGSM module which I did play with, around with earlier, but the problem with that is you can't, it just it just kind of just doesn't work. Like you can't render these particles like using it. It's, it's not really like, it's more of a material shader. It's not really a screen space shader module. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't really work well uh, as opposed to that. So that's kind of whatever. Um, but I mean, man, it is super satisfying using this new rendering system we can go like half radius now and get like better frame rates than Water one like we've got 50,000 particles right now and we're still running like 60 meanwhile like Water run runs 30,000 and gets like 30 so it's like yeah man that's pretty substantial improvement um as a part i mean come on man that is that's satisfying so um yeah, I don't know if I'll get around to doing any ray marching or marching cubes or um, whatever exists. I, I don't know if that's just going to happen. Mainly because I'm not really interested in the rendering. Like, it's just not something I'm interested in. So, we'll just see how that goes. Um, it's pretty much about it for now. Super satisfying working with this man. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Hoping to get the firmer even better. I'll post an update when that happens. And I'll see y'all in another video.